If you remember yesterday, boys and girls, we read the story from Head to Toe by Eric Carl. And today we're going to do a game using the movements that the animals used in the story. Ooh. Movement counts work really well with the children. It's a fun way to introduce counting, first of all, and it also allows them to experience one-on-one -on -one correspondence because they do one movement to one word count. Oh, the giraffe. Do you remember what the giraffe can do? By starting with a book, it gives the children a good connection to what they're doing. They, I have a lot of English language learners, and they're able to see the picture of the action. And if they don't know the word, they still were able to do the action because they were able to connect to the story. The buffalo. He can raise his shoulders. Yes, just like this. <laughs> Nathan, could you roll the die, please? Let's see how many times we're going to raise our shoulders. Four. four. Good. So what are we doing four times? Raising our shoulders. Count together. One, two, three, four. Let's see what's next. Oh, the monkey. The monkey says, I can wave my arms. Oh, but we're going to do it in a different way. It's sort of like Jasmine's doing it. Watch me. Can you do it like this? Yeah. Now let's see how many times we're going to do it. Stanley, roll the die, please. Four. Four. Good. And we're going to do our arms four times. Ready? One. Two, three, four. We can raise our arms four times. I wonder if we can raise our shoulders four times. Should we try? Yeah. One, two, three, four. While we were playing the game, I was able to watch the children's actions as well as listening to them using the counting words. So I was able to see if they were able to use one-to-one -one correspondence with their actions according to the number they were saying. We're going to wriggle our hips two times. Ready? One, two. Oh, good. We have to stop at two. Let's try again. One, two. Most of the children were able to match their movements to the count words. There were a few that didn't get it all the time. They got it some of the time. And then there were just a few also that kept going after the counting stopped. Good. So let's see how many times we're going to swing our arms. Karen, you roll the die. Fingers up if you know how many. Karen, how many? Two times we're going to swing our arms. Get ready? Ready? One, two. We can swing our arms two times. Can you raise your shoulders two times? One, two. The value of using movement in math is that children learn in different ways, and some children need to move to learn. And I think the actions help them internalize the counting.